Hello, I'm Andy. I'm Nancy. We're back. It's been a minute. A very, very bright minute. Yeah, and uh, pretty beautiful background. Gotta say, it's one of the most beautiful backdrops I think we've ever had. I think so. A month ago, <clears throat> we were in Oklahoma working on a bus, and uh, we're not there anymore. <laughs> Two months ago? Yeah, it's been a bit. It was March, like the middle of March. When we first came to Colorado? Wow, time flies. We landed in Colorado at about 4,500 feet or so. Yep, yep. Started getting used to the elevation, thought we were used to elevation. Yeah, at that point it was just one of those, go for a walk and go, oof, wow, I really got out of shape. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> I like, had some work to do. <laughs> and not really realizing until we got up to, now we're trying to sleep at 8,300 feet. That makes a difference when you're up there at altitude. It's a significant difference. Now we've been up at 8,300 feet for over a month, I guess, so. It's uh It took a lot of a lot of uh, getting used to, a lot of acclimating. Um, we came up here, um, honestly, not to work on the bus, which has no. actually kind of been put on hold because we came up here to work. Yeah. Uh, we got an opportunity for uh, some work for the summer that you, we couldn't really pass up because you know you, you need an income, um, and so we kind of took a break from the bus building to acclimate, to hike, yeah. to climb, to. Uh, learn how to work and breathe at the same time at 8,300 feet. It, yeah. it, it, it was a challenge, but um, we got the first big job yeah. done. Which we needed to get done before <laughs> tourist season, so it was like yeah. work yep. hard, yep. work as long as you could. Those first days we'd work like four or five hours. You'd work and like two hours, two and a half hours in the morning, take like an hour and a half lunch, work two, two and a half hours in the afternoon, and just be beat. Just exhausted. But by the end of it, we worked a couple 10 hour days there, and mm -hmm. I mean, you'd have a lunch in the middle of a 10 hour day, but it was just a normal lunch break and a 10 hour work shift. And yeah. we were exhausted at the end of 10 hours of swinging a pickaxe and <laughs> but you're shovel always and whatnot. You're tired at the end of a 10 hour day of manual work. It's it, just exactly. how it is. And mm -hmm. sleeping, sleeping was terrible for me when we first got up here. I, uh, I'd wake up in the middle of the night, just complete anxiety attack because my body didn't have enough oxygen in it and it'd take me hours. I'd have to sit up for hours before I'd even try to get back to sleep. And it wasn't a lot of fun that first couple of weeks. But now that I'm acclimated, it's a... Uh, yeah, you sleep a lot more soundly I sleep really now. well now. Now I'm just up by myself at three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Altitude is something I've never, I've gone and visited before, but I don't think I've ever stayed Probably more than a no. couple of days. No, Steamboat Springs is probably the tallest or the highest place I've ever stayed, and that's a little bit below here, I think. But even that was only a few days. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we took a hike the other day. Um, how high did we get? Like 9,200 feet? 90, oh, close to 9,400. Oh, higher than. Well, you and Connor and Steve, and Steve got higher made it than about I did a little bit because yeah. I stayed down. I I was the weirdo in the creek. Cold in creek. the snow fed mountain creek <laughs> i went in first barefoot too cold couldn't do that but i did go in there and and whatever there's an off topic i wasn't even trying to talk about that i was talking about the breathing oh we went for a hike the other day up to like what 9300 feet and yeah. um we started at 8200 feet or something like that so yeah it took what three and a half hours four hours to get up yeah to where we ended up stopping because you, that's where we ran into two to three feet deep snow. And it's kind of hard to walk on the trail when you're breaking through the snow because it's soft, but it's three feet deep. Yeah, about 9,000 um, feet, it started to get snowy and by 9,300 feet it was. But on the way up, I noticed that um, getting higher than we are now is gonna be a whole nother challenge in and of itself because yeah. that took a long time. And it took 45 minutes to get back down. Yeah, just just pop, 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 <laughs> and we're back down. It was so easy to get back down. All of a sudden we were at the bottom. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. But yeah, and, and what if we only went like, what, not even a mile? Did we go a mile? We, we almost almost a mile and a half in. But yeah, not, not the seven or eight miles at the end of the trail is at the mm -hmm. lake that we want to get to. Mm -hmm. but that'll take time. And the snow is, the snow is really what stopped us this time. Oh yeah, yeah, and it'll probably be closer even to, than now to the end of the month, maybe even June, before we get back up there and get past where there was snow. Yeah, because knee deep and deeper snow is not something you can maintain for miles. And it just we work. were watching it snow back here. Yeah, um, all like the way up around. In the snow-capped areas that you can see behind us, we were watching it snow there as little as like two days ago. Yeah. So we know they were still getting snow up that high. Well, we had three inches of snow here less than a week ago. Yeah, yeah, it melts so. three hours into the day. Yeah. You know, it's gone by 11 o'clock in the morning, but. 
It's not Minnesota snow, that's oh, for sure. God, no, no, no. No, because it has snowed so many times since we yeah. got up here, and like three to six inches every time. And, and it's always gone by evening. Yep. Mm -hmm. But now that we're here, now that we're acclimated, now that the tourist season has started, uh, there are days we can't work. Because yeah. with the tourists in the way, you just you can't do the work. So we're only going to be, we'll be working, I think it's Monday through Thursday to make yeah. money. And Friday, Saturday, Sunday is going to be working on the bus. And hiking. Yeah, and hiking. So. And camping, because... I decided I want to go camping. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do some backpack camping, get a permit so you can go in and backpack around here. Uh -huh. That should be a lot of fun. Yeah, it should. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. It's going to be a whole lot of firsts yeah, while we're definitely. out here. Because I've never been anywhere. So everywhere we're going pretty much is a first for me. So. And yeah, we're going to be here till probably light, later than this woman wants. But we'll probably be here into October at least. And see everything Colorado has to see between spring and fall and get out of here hopefully before we're stuck with the snow. <laughs> stuck being the key term. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's a couple passes. I don't want to take the bus over once there's feet of snow on those passes. Yeah, yeah, no, and I, I just would rather not drive on them at all, so <laughs> doing it with snow would not yeah. be fun. Ah, driving on them without snow is kind of fun. Uh, as long as everybody around you remembers that the speed limit says 30 and goes 30, yeah. Instead of trying to ride 50 up your ass, then you're fine. <laughs> I don't even know where to go from that. <laughs> How about we will see you again Yeah. Um, very soon, I hope, with an actual video of some work done on the bus. Because I've got a few projects on the board that I really <laughs> want to get done. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that a couple of times lately, so <laughs> I should get working and uh, we should... Uh, We'll be back. This is season four. Oh, Welcome. Oh, um, I want to say too, while we're still here, um, congrats to Pete and Heather on your purchase of yeah. your coach. Awesome. It looks, it looks pretty cool. Can't wait to see you. Can't wait to see what you do when you hit the road. Super exciting. Yeah. Congrats, you guys. Congrats. Until next time. Peace. Bye. Hello, I'm Andy. I'm Nancy. We're back, bitches. <laughs>